Welcome back to another episode of The Lawyer You Know. And today, we're gonna to take a quick second just to talk about the different kinds of law and different kinds of lawyers you may need. And the way I'm gonna illustrate that is with some movies and some TV shows to give you a really great idea of what these kinds of lawyers do. So, when you're in a situation where you're going through a divorce, going through an adoption, going through child custody issues, you're gonna need a family law lawyer. And the best family law lawyer I can think of is Fletcher Reed from Liar Liar, played by Jim Carrey. Really funny movie, has a lot of details in there about what family law lawyers do on a day-to-day -day basis. Next, and probably the most common theme throughout movies is criminal law. You get arrested, you get charged with a crime, you get accused of a crime. The FBI or law enforcement is investigating your business. You need a criminal lawyer. There are tons to pick from. You have Mickey from The Lincoln Lawyer. You have Elle Woods in the firm she works for in Legally Blonde. You've got My Cousin Vinny, um, where Joe Pesci comes down to defend his nephew. Um, so you've got a ton to pick from in criminal law. Then you also have what I do, personal injury, fighting for injured victims against big insurance companies or corporations that are dirty and you know, you've got to go in and find the corruption. Um, one of the ones I like the best is Goliath, Billy McBride, played by Billy Bob Thornton. Um, also, Matt Damon in uh, Rainmaker, he plays a personal injury lawyer as well. Those are some really fun movies. Uh, then you have a interesting situation of a wills and estate lawyer when you want somebody to write a will for you or create a trust for your children or someone dies in your family and you're fighting about what the will says or whether or not that person was in their right mind when they made that will. Um, and an interesting movie that's kind of new on Netflix called Knives Out is all about family members fighting about whether or not the dad meant to leave this money to them, to this person, to the new wife, to the youngest son, and why it might not be right. And they have a, an estate lawyer in that movie who kind of goes through some of the issues you may come across. Then you have employment law, fighting over employment contracts, whether or not somebody was discriminated against or fired or not hired for the right reasons, whether they were fired for cause. And the best one I can think of that really jumps out is Philadelphia. Denzel Washington plays an employment lawyer and they sue the company. I think uh, Tom Hanks was actually also a lawyer and his law firm fired him for discriminatory purposes and that's what the whole movie was about. And then last but not least is business law which can go around a ton of different topics. You know, you can have mergers and acquisitions, you can have non-competes, you can have businesses fighting over ownership, or you can say that businesses did something wrong to the shareholders, or something just was fraudulently done in a business. Corporate lawyers, they're also known as, and the absolute best corporate lawyers that I would always go to if I needed was Harvey Specter and Mike Ross. Um, and that's from Suits. And they're some of the most fun shows that you can get to when you come to business law. And that's, you know, that, that comes all over writing up business agreements between corporations. I mean, there's tons of stuff that fits under business law. They're big New York lawyers. A lot of the big law firms that do this are in New York and LA and Boston and things like that. And the big cities where a lot of corporations go to hire the, the big time lawyers that do corporate law. Um, and a lot of times personal injury lawyers are fighting against them. Then there's all sorts of situations where you may need multiple lawyers. Uh, you get in a DUI accident. Um, so you need a criminal lawyer for the DUI portion, but you need a separate civil lawyer that does personal injury defense um, to also handle the injured victim's claims that are coming against you because you have kind of two aspects of it where you need a criminal lawyer and a civil lawyer. Um, if you're buying a house, you may need a real estate lawyer. Um, there's all sorts of scenarios where multiple things can come into effect um, and multiple types of law and multiple lawyers. But there are so many cool resources out there for you to learn different types of law by watching TV shows and watching movies. And while they're always exaggerated and not nearly like real life, they do give you some aspects of what those lawyers go to. And usually they have the right kind of lawyer handling the right kind of issue in the movie. So at least you can connect those dots. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this episode. Hopefully you learned something. Until next time.